Hello everyone and welcome to this week's episode of Legacy of the Rimlin. Um working out what to do next edition, I suppose, although that's I guess more or less always the case. Last time a bunch of wrestling and politicking happened, but before we get into that, as usual, let's have our players introduce themselves and their characters like we usually do. I've rolled some dice in the background. The dice say that we're once again going straight alphabetical, starting apparently with Ashen. Ashen, could you please go ahead and talk about yourself and what you're doing? And not what you're doing, but your character, introduce yourself. Yes, yes. Uh, I'm Ash and I'm playing as Alona, a sneaky noblewoman who's escaping for her life. And that is currently, or like at least last time, uh, the most sober one of the party for once. So there's that. I have to imagine that still is the case. Like, it's only been like a couple hours at most. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you very, very much, Ashen. Next, uh, we would have a second most sober person, Deli. <laughs> Could you please go ahead and introduce yourself and your character? Yeah, of course. Ooh. Oh, no, you're cutting off. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> now no, you're um, fine. Now you're fine. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, okay. Uh, there's nothing. My, uh, hi, hi everyone, I'm Deli, and uh, I'm playing It's Moonin. Uh, they're a traveling scholar, uh, uh, right there. Um, and yes, currently the second most sober. Okay, uh, thank you very, very much, Deli. Um, if you think it would help with, like, not cutting out, feel free to not do the thing we were talking about, if that makes sense. Uh, but d you would know best. Uh, so I'll okay. leave it up to you. Okay? Okay. Cool. Okay. But thank you very, very much, Deli. Next, we would have the least sober person, uh, Show and Toast character. Uh, could you please go ahead and introduce yourself? Hi. Yes. Hi. I'm Show and Tell, and I'll be playing as Angel. Um, he's a new peasant boy, and he is drunk, as has been established. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Indeed, he is. Thank you very, very much, show and tell. So, uh, last time, you guys continued your r little wrestling match with uh, the uh, servant Rebob to, like, prove to the boyar that you guys are more than just talk. Surprisingly enough, at least for, like, the spectators, you won that match handedly. Uh, although Moonin did... Uh, eat a lot of dirt and he got they got barked at by uh, a dog but it is what it is uh after that the the boy are agreed okay yeah i have faith more or less in you guys to take care of the wolf he, the, the also like more or less extracted some information from you like confirmation of the fact that you guys were indeed the ones that ambushed the soldiers um, and before he, before you guys left, um, he offered that you all take the servant Rebob with you, uh, to, uh, to basically assist you. He's not very much of a, uh, he's not much of a talker and the boyar said that he doesn't speak like the local language. So if you ever want to communicate with him, only Lona and Moonen can do it. Well, Angel can't really do it anyway, but you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> Once you guys departed, oh, I, I, oh, and also the boyar said, um, if you come back in like a couple hours, my cousin will be here. She's richer than I am. So like if you need extra funds, maybe you can come here to like persuade her. So after you guys departed, you were not very sure what to do exactly. You debated going to hire the mercenaries as the boyar suggested. But you all kind of chickened out at that because the mercenaries might recognize you. Well, probably will recognize you at this point. You thought about sending Rebob over to hire the mercenaries. But one, there's the issue that he's not very much of a talker. Two, there's the issue that like when you guys meet up to, to hunt the wolf, they will see you anyway. Um, you try to like ask the boy or for like help to... Um, have the mercenaries not hunt you guys, but the boyar said the bounty that would be on you guys is way too high for him to pay. Well, maybe he can pay it, but he doesn't want to because that's a lot of money, if that makes sense. 
So, um, we prim. Oh, and uh, one other detail: the boy are offered to lend you guys his hunting dogs to track the wolf, not to f- not to fight it. Uh, but that's for when you guys have everything ready, or maybe you want to like scout it out ahead of time. Who knows? But that's more or less where we rejoin you guys. You were more or less discussing matters in front of the Boyar's estate in the street. Rebob is with you, but again, he doesn't really understand your language according to the Boyar, so um, he hasn't really contributed anything to the discussion. And also you guys were discussing above board, I guess. So that's where we would rejoin you guys. Um, I guess... I should ask while I turn on the background music as usual. Um, what's up with everyone? What's uh, What are you all thinking about other than the obvious how to proceed, if that makes sense? I guess the question is especially pertinent given that not all of you are really capable of thinking, I guess, at this, at this point. <laughs> good point. Um, yeah, good point. I think... Um, apart from how to proceed in the quest, I think Noonan's probably thinking about how to um, get rid of this upcoming headache. <laughs> um, uh, I feel like, obviously, uh, they may or may not be sobering up as we speak, so um, their heads could be in pieces. Uh, Moonin's also covered in dirt from face planting. Yeah, 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 that's, that's a good point, actually. Hmm. Um, so I think they're going to need to find a cold shower or something. <laughs> understandable, understandable. Um, What about for... I don't know. <laughs> I'm curious about what the most drunk person would think <laughs> at the moment, especially since part of the conversation was in a language um, Angel wouldn't understand. Like the conversation with the boy are. Well... I guess he was mostly thinking about the food that he ate. <laughs> I don't know if it was good. He liked it. Um, beyond that... Uh, I don't know, honestly. Maybe he's thinking about... Well, he already slept, right? So I... <laughs> um, he napped. He napped. <laughs> uh, Much to... <laughs> his hosts uh, discuss, I guess. Yeah. yeah. I guess, Moon and yeah, you might be sobering up because you did um, vomit a lot last session. Oh, God, yeah. Um, also, I sent you a DM, Deli. Okay, thank you. Hmm? Um, and... Go ahead, sorry. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if there's mo- more than that for now. Sure, sure, sure. Um, what about Ilona? How is she feeling after having to shepherd everyone? Mm. The whole situation wants her to like back out, since that person is pretty untrustworthy, and we're not at the best state right now. Like, even though we proved ourselves, that our odds aren't looking that great. Mm. Um, especially with um, fuck, what are they called? Uh, the people. That are after mercenaries. Us. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like for some reason, mamacitas was the only word. <laughs> like, <laughs> like something M, mamacitas. <laughs> <laughs> um, speaking of the state you guys are in, uh, Ash and I removed Ilona's uh, consequence and stress because you guys, like pretty much, you guys took a short rest while talking with the boy RM among yourselves. Um, nice, thank you. Angel's consequence will still stick around for a little bit because it's level six. And oh, I kind of forgot that you got injured. Did we even do anything about that? Uh, we did. You got bandaged. Uh, we established that like nothing vital got hurt yeah. somehow. Um, <laughs> I imagine. Uh, yes. I, I imagine. I imagine it would hurt a lot more if you were sober. Yeah, good point. <laughs> Um, on that note, yeah, you guys were outside uh, the Boyar's estate discussing what your next move would be. 
feel free to continue doing that. Also, feel free to like, if you need a reminder about who the people on the map are, uh, if that might like prove helpful to you, do let me know. Um, or let me know if, I don't know, you guys go to a tavern or whatever again. <laughs> I like that idea. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> just continue drinking. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's afternoon just for context it was last time as well right uh, last time you went drinking was just before noon oh <laughs> I see brilliant <laughs> the floor is currently yours if you uh, if you want like context on what Rebob is doing he, see, he seems to be like Looking in more or less random places, because apparently he doesn't understand what you guys are saying unless you're speaking in caramel, so yeah. He's keeping an eye out in case something happens, but he's like not particularly alert, I guess. Mm. Uh, um, I guess. Um. This might sound odd, especially odd if I keep cutting out. Um, are there any, like, bathhouses in this town? <laughs> uh, you're, you, by the way, you're currently fine, Deli. Um, bathhouses... Mm, I'm gonna do a roll. It's unlikely, but not impossible. So let's okay. see. Let's see what the roll says. Uh, for the viewers, because I know they can't really see at the moment. I'm rolling a d20. Um, I was aiming at 15 or higher. I got a 14. Ah, uh, can I use a fate point? <laughs> Not how no, it I'm works. Just <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, well, uh, in that case, maybe Moonin would walk to the river in the middle of the town. Uh, I keep saying town, but it's a city. Um, legally, Moon legally, it's a city. Where Moonin is from, it's smaller than a town. Yeah. Um, so maybe Moonin would like, especially if it's running water, Moonin, Moonin would walk this way. Sure. Uh, you would pass by like the main town square where like the incident happened, uh, so to say. Do yeah. the rest of you follow Moonin? Sure. Uh, yeah. Why not? Sure. You would eventually reach the river, not necessarily disturbed by anyone, but you do get, like, looks from people, uh, like um, the people just wandering the streets. First off, because you guys were involved in what happened earlier. Second off, because Rebob looks very unusual for, like, the people in this area, if that makes sense. That does make sense. Hmm? Um, can I check to see how filthy the running the water is? Um, give me a careful or clever. Yeah, careful or clever. I guess uh, it won't um, be too difficult. If I, uh, if it's not that difficult, I'll just roll. Um, I was gonna say if I roll careful, could I get a, my stun? But if it's not that difficult, I'll just do it. I mean. Um. <laughs> No matter the difficulty, let me check the wording because it okay. might help. But feel free, okay. to, feel free to roll regardless. Um, keen eyes, yeah, it is eyesight related. This information. <laughs> All right, cool. Oh, good thing I double checked. I I rolled a zero. Um, <laughs> so mm. with a plus two, that'd be two. Um, what I can tell you with a two is. You're in a city, by the sheer nature of things, the water that runs through a city is not going to be clean, Re not really, but on the other hand, you're not, like, in a particularly populated area, for lack of a better term, and most of the people are currently sick with the plague and, like, not really leaving their houses, so the water's not clean, but it's not as dirty as it could be. Okay. I will wash myself 
or moon and will wash themselves um i think like they'd what would happen is like they'd reach the um running water and they'd sort of like obviously they'd inspect it sort of weigh out the pros and cons um and they like as long as they've pinched their nose and like held their uh hold their mouth closed like they would probably like depending on how deep the water is like either wade into it or just use it as like like get handfuls of it and like wash it over themselves and everything they wouldn't drink it though it would be deep enough to wade in if that's what Moonin wants. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. And you can do it safely enough. Um, no supernatural events will happen, I suppose. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that's good. That's I think I go uh, kind of sticks his head inside. <laughs> <laughs> it's like an ostrich. <laughs> <laughs> I, <I've, laughs> I think... Ilona, yeah, I guess Ilona, you uh, if you didn't also venture into the water, you'd hear Rebob mutter under his breath, freaking ostrich in caramel. <laughs> <laughs> I would I would smile and nod at him. He seems he would seem a little surprised, like, oh you heard that. <laughs> <laughs> um So, uh my head's gonna be Moonin would say, so my head's going to be in pieces, but uh, in, in, in a couple of hours or so, probably sooner. Um, I don't. Sp- <laughs> it would probably be a good idea to get drinking water, if if that's even a thing in this in this si- uh, town. Too bad loss is um, with you. Yeah. Um, maybe Moonin would ask Rebob, like, D- do you have any? Um, do you know where we can get some drinking water? Obviously, Moonin would ask in um, caramel. Um, Rebob would ponder for a little bit because it's not usually his job to like get water for the house. Uh, so he, but after a second, he'd say, "The market or the wells outside of town. The wells in town, water not good." Okay. Um, you would all hear. A familiar voice of an older woman say, So is water your main concern? And if you were to look into a nearby tree, you would see a familiar figure. Woo! Ooh. Hi there. She, she's back! <laughs> <laughs> what, was the, what was it meant again? Like old hag or something, her name? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Old um, ugly too. hag, specifically. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> wow, how could you be that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she is just dangling her feet from a tree. Rebob, like, almost reaches for a weapon because the voice came out of nowhere, but he obviously doesn't and just stares confused at the lady. I want to say, um, how's it going, Harsha? How are you doing? She shrugs and says, oh, I've been better, I guess. Old bones and all that. My back still has, it still hurts. You know how it is. Oh. Rebob would, would ask in caramel, do you know this person? Like, would ask you guys. Mm. Yeah, we've seen him before. Crossed mm. the path before. He still looks uns- uncertain, uh, and the old woman would say, and hello to you too, handsome, uh, but uh, she says it in the local language. So uh, Rebob, Rebob doesn't really answer. Yeah. Oh. Um, I think Moonin would say, like, oh, he can't understand you, and then Moonin would, like, translate for Rebob, and then look to the woman and say, caramel, like that. Caramel, caramel is see. Ah, sure. If that if that's what he says, sure. Says the old woman. Uh, Rebob ju- like maintains like a what's the word like a wary expression. Yeah. Uh, so, and she will say, "So you lot have reached another decision point, I guess. What's your plan?" Uh plan is to defeat the wolf. You just gotta do it somehow that doesn't um, involve us getting captured and... Uh, oh, the wolf won't really capture you. He'll just eat you. 
No, but the mercenaries, we have like a bounty as well. So trying to get the help we need with that while maintaining like our, our skin, so to say. Hmm. I mean, there are other people you could ask for help. Like who? You know who. Oh. <laughs> are Ooh. we still good with them? I think we burned some bridges. She shrugs and says, well, only one way you find out. But they're not the only ones you can ask. There are more? Of course there are more. On either side of the spectrum. You've only explored oh. one side, really. Um, well, do you have, um, some kind of calling card for them, or, like, can you introduce us? No, not I, not personally, and honestly, it's just my job to point you in helpful directions, it's not my job to guide you by the hand over there. Mm. She... She will say, remember what Lost told you? There's lots of people in this city. Lots of people, lots of people who can help you. If you're looking for more, if you're looking for help from the old, maybe you don't have to ask them directly. There, I heard there's a local witch in town that you can ask. A local witch, okay. If you If you want help from the new, well, you can speak to their representatives she makes air quotes angel doesn't know what that means we've had this we've had this discussion before about board yeah about the air quotes yeah about like that not really existing in this language but yeah okay okay <laughs> cool she um, um, and she says or you can do it the more mundane way Either, either way, either way will be interesting. Mm. All right. Well, thank you very much. Um, if you have any uh, spells for headaches, then <laughs> th th this this encounter really would be like very uh, useful. Well, if you. Ugh. If you go to Gogu's estate, I hear his chef has, uh, cooks a fine stew. That's the only mm. spell I know for that. Who do you think I am? Mm. Well, all right. Well, I know where I'm going. Mm -hmm. Um, I think Muna would like wade out of the water at this point and like sort of like a wet dog, sort of like th th thrash about to get the water out. <laughs> <laughs> She <clears throat> would stare impassively. Rebob is still like looking at her, like, "What the hell this, is this woman about?" Yeah. Um, Moonin would ask, like, "So tell me, like, what do you get out of this?" Are you asking Rebob or the woman? Uh, the woman. Sorry. Hmm. Out of what? Out of guiding our paths. What do you seek to gain from this? I mean. Helping us doesn't... People don't help people for free. She shrugs and says, Well, it's what I do. Never really thought of it that way. Well, I mean... Uh, oh, before, I, for, before I forget... Before I forget, she points a finger at Angel. You've left someone behind. You should probably go for them. What? You know, you. Uh, I imagine Angel has a confused expression. She would say, <laughs> you know what I mean. The prophecy. You'll need them all, you know. Can't leave them behind. The prophecy what? Oh. Um. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to. <laughs> maybe. I don't think Ilona and Moonen would know, because they don't know about the thing. But okay. Ashen and Delhi might know, but Ilona and Moonen might not. Y yeah, yeah. The prophecy. Ilona um, would like ask about it. Be like the prophecy. What prophecy? She would look at Ilona and say, hmm, 
It doesn't really concern you. Well, it almost concerned you, but then it didn't. <laughs> really, really, nobody expected that. That it would not come to concern you, I mean. That was quite a surprising one. What you did doesn't really happen too often. Uh, I'm so uh, confused. <laughs> is there something you two aren't telling me? Like, Moon would ask. I have no clue what she's talking about, but it seemed like it was none of my business, I guess. The old woman would shrug and, and say, Well, I don't know if the boys realized it. Maybe he has, and he hasn't told you, or maybe he hasn't. Shrugs. Not my place to tell. His place to tell. Well, you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, wait. Maybe I understand what she meant? I'm not sure. Um... <laughs> well, I think you'll, you'll, pro you'll, be, you'll be lucky in, the, in this particular case. I think he's, I think he's coming over. Don't let him get away this time. You'll need him. Are we talking about always thirsty? Possibly. Okay. I, I think above board. If you're asking above board, I cannot answer. <laughs> okay. I, 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 just... <laughs> I, would, I would probably theorize and say yes. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess. Obviously, that's just what it might, like, you know. Um... Well, uh... You've got a job well, to do, she, she would, like, scold Angel. Uh, you've got a job to do, you know. Well, I guess you can... I could just, like, sit her. <laughs> <laughs> she, she would then add, well, I guess you... Technically, you are allowed to not do it. It's just, you know, that's never really happened before. That would be pretty bad pro if I come to think of it. Shrugs. Well, your choice. And all the speaking and riddles, like, Moonen would be mumbling. <laughs> um, all these riddles, nothing can be so straightforward. Um, well, uh, if that's everything, um, like, Moonen would ask the lady. She shrugs. I don't know, is it everything? I don't know. It's, it seems like there's more to this. And then, like, Moonen would look... There's to always Angel. more to this. There's always more to this. More to everything. Hmm. Touché. Well, well, when you remember or realize what this lady's talking about, Angel, let us know, all right? Angel blinks at the... What's Angel's expression, I'm wondering? Kind of blank, I think. Kind of... Sort of, I mean, God, he'd be really good at poker, wouldn't he? <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't even know. I'm not even sure if he realized by now what they're been talking about. Uh, what she I, was talking about. I think in previous sessions, we like established that Angel knows but is in denial, if that makes sense. Okay, but what also, is... he's drunk right now. I, yeah. I mean, I guess he kind of. Oh, that's true. Like he did, it did, uh, you know, dunk his head in the water. So maybe it's helping him become a little sober, but um, I don't know. Seeing like everyone's hesitation and confusion, she'll like mutter and say, you know, it's bad. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's bad to drink in the mornings. <laughs> <laughs> it's bad to drink in the evenings, but people still do it. And then <laughs> it would like, um, well, Moonin's like ruffling their hair, if you know what I mean. Well, no, the drink is well, probably the best thing to ever exist in this damned world. It's just the time you do it, you know. You can't spend all your day drinking. That's mm, bad from all points of view. Like both uh, sides, yeah. both sides agree to that. Well, yeah, yeah. You, you sound like my mother. <laughs> <laughs> I guess there's one fellow on the old side who wouldn't mind it, but uh, he don't really want to tangle with him. Oh, who's that? I'm interested now. For your own sake, you're not. I am very much am. She sighs and says, any other questions? Emphasis on the other. Mm. Um... 
when we will when will we see you again? Shrugs. You think I know? Well, um, I don't know. <laughs> but I guess if we don't see you soon, uh, don't be a stranger. <laughs> she <laughs> looks at you and says, well, no, you know me. You know my name. I can't be a stranger. Right. Right, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um it's been it's been good chatting so uh and then like maybe we just awkwardly like walk off she's also <laughs> just been like staring at you guys not really moving either way uh, yeah. above <laughs> above board uh like when you guys were asking like is that all whatever um it wasn't that so much that she wanted to like ask or tell you guys something rather she was waiting if you guys had questions for her yeah okay. i think i got that but oh uh, yeah makes sense should we go to the the local witch in that case got a new lead maybe we can cure the hangover as well do you know where that is we could probably ask around or we could ask her yeah <laughs> before we leave <laughs> did you say around or I don't remember the exact word I used. I I was, I guess, trying to convey the idea that she is somewhere around these parts. Not yeah. fairly close by, like you don't have to travel far, I guess. Okay. Lars didn't tell you about the witch, which is, I guess, interesting. Then Ilona would ask her, like, where the, the witch lives. Oh, well, in the woods, dear. Where do you think? Wests? North, south, east. Uh, none of those fancy words. Those are for your scholar friend over there. She points in a direction which uh, above board would <coughs> would be north. Okay. Alright. Okay. Alright, well, let's go see this witch. Um, out of curiosity, are you two related at all? Mm mother daughter situation oh no no her her mom's dead but don't tell her that uh, oh okay okay i see um i will try my best <laughs> not to to bring that up good you shouldn't <laughs> right she j interesting above board like whenever like i'm not speaking and like she would be idling. She'd just be staring at you guys. <laughs> this is NPC. <laughs> but, yeah, like, yeah. like very oblivion NPC, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> just zoom in so much on her face every time she talks. <laughs> um, you heard of the high elves. <laughs> um, let's get going. Let's find the witch. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> And they were low way. <laughs> she would say nothing. Um, obviously, once you m like make some distance, uh, if you were to like look back at the tree, she would no longer be there. After you gain some distance, Rebob would ask in caramel. So, what was that about? Um. Oh, well, that lady we met her before, and um, I don't know. She's taken a liking to us. She seems to know a lot of things. Um, and she seems to appear out of nowhere. <laughs> How? I did not hear her climbing the tree. Oh, well. She's very agile for her age. Um, but uh, I suppose <coughs> I don't know. Have you I mean, you must know this this giant wolf. Um, it's not a natural thing, isn't it? it? Like, I mean, you're smart enough to know that. He shrugs and says, "I've seen bigger animals." I suppose. Really? What animals? Bigger? Yeah, what animals? <laughs> <laughs> like a giraffe? Like what? <laughs> um, you people ever heard of an elephant? Elephant. Oh. I don't think Ilona would have. 
I think Ilona actually would have, yes, she would have. Oh, she has? I think the only... Maybe Angel is the only one who hasn't heard, but, like, elephants have, like, this sort of legendary reputation, even in, like, these ruler parts, rural parts, I guess. Oh, cool. Well, we... Elephant? It's epic. That is cool. (laughs) He'd shrug, Um, he'd shrug and say, when you've traveled as much as I have, lots of things become mundane. A giant wolf is no different. I suppose, but then an elephant is as big as an elephant. <laughs> because, bec- uh, so an elephant being as big as it is, is, a na- is natural, right? But a wolf being as big as an elephant, that's not natural. So that lady that we just spoke to is like the wolf. She's not natural. She's on steroids. Yeah. <laughs> Shrugs. She's got a hundred sneak. Shrugs. And he says, My native Nehesi has giant elephants. Your native lands have giant wolves. No different. Hmm. Well. Yeah. More or less. Um. But either way, um, she seems to know quite a lot so i think we're at the moment we're just heeding your advice um and speaking to someone that she has recommended to us why because obviously i go ahead sorry go ahead go ahead i was gonna say above board maybe like he because obviously he couldn't understand the conversation so why is she not speaking with the boy or or any of of the other boyars um because she isn't a citizen of this city. Um, Neither are so, you. Mm, I suppose that's true. But she's not a citizen. <clears throat> I, as far as I know, she's not a citizen of any city. So uh, she is not governed by the same laws that we have to abide by. It's not, um, it's not a question of laws. It's a question of who can help the most. Um, That's true. But... For some reason, I suppose she thinks that we can help, um, or rather, she can help us um, more so than she can help the city by talking to the boy. Uh, Interesting. He, will, um, he, being a quiet fellow, he won't say anything more at this point. But feel free to continue, Delhi. Okay. Um. Uh, I don't know if the, uh, I don't know if Moonin would say anything else on that matter. To be honest. Have you have you both cleared your head? Um, yes, you mean he's... sorry. Rebo is asking that. Yep. Okay. Uh, again, in a language Angel doesn't understand, but yeah, yeah. exactly. But right. I, okay. Okay. I mean. I'm imagining Moon and or Elona are translating for Angel's sake. Yeah. Oh, okay. Let's yeah, let's <laughs> pretend that we are. <laughs> um <laughs> Moon would like pat Angel's shoulder and be like how about it, eh? Like how's how's your head uh how's your head feeling? Uh Angel would just kind of rub at his head. Um and kind of maybe nod slowly, hmm. like you know. Um, not the best. Moonin would like turn to um, uh, Rebob and <laughs> and just say that they would say like, "Yep, not the best." Me like me neither. Um, the sooner we can sort this out, the better. Are you are you much of a drinker? Do you drink, Rebob? He, like, gives you a, a polite smile and says, My faith do- does not allow me to drink. Understandable. I admit I've per- partaken in the past, but not anymore. <clears throat> um, understandable. Understandable. Um, so your faith is new, then? Uh, he <laughs> shakes his head and says... I share the same faith as the caramel. 
and the and the peoples of the east and south i guess you would call them right sorry i believe i misspoke i, I mean your faith within the faith is that new ah if you don't, if you don't mind me asking no but my profession is mm, understandable um well you're not missing out on much <laughs> He shrugs and says, actually, he, would, he wouldn't say anything more. He's not the type to, like, willingly, not willingly, but, like, willy-nilly, I guess, give out information. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Interesting. Um, as we're walking, mm -hmm. um, uh, <laughs> I don't know why this popped in my head. I was, I was going to say, as we're walking, should we do like careful checks or something to see like where the? Uh, but it's obviously, it's up to you. <laughs> Sorry, um, so I was. What? I was more. Sorry, never mind. <laughs> I was more or less about to suggest the same thing that you guys should potentially roll careful to see like how much info you gather by like asking the locals or like noticing your surroundings or whatever. Okay. Okay. And do remember, oh, pl yeah, please say out loud what you get. Damn. I got a four. I got one. Technically a three, I suppose. Hmm. Um, Moonen, I think your headache is making you, like, not really in the mood for looking around or asking people, I guess. Yeah. Um, Ilona, as you might be asking around you would eventually be pointed in the direction of uh, the witch's home uh, in the, like, woodlands to the north. Um, they're not particularly dense woods, but that's where she lives either way. Uh, you, were, you are told to look for a dirt hovel. Make sense? Yes. Okay. And Angel, with that role, I think you will see... Oh, what's the word? Is palanquin the word? Like in English? Maybe. For carrying people? Yeah, in? yeah, pretty much. Uh, right. Actually, it wouldn't be a palanquin. It would be like a small... Um, carriage. Carriage Carriage is the word. A small carriage. Yeah. Horse-drawn okay. carriage. Um, passing from, like... If you were to look at, like, the main road uh, on, like, the eastern side of town it passes from the east to the west north to south make sense okay right i'm mentioning that in case you want to take note or interact or whatever okay yeah. did you say okay, it was moving like oh yeah it's uh, moving yeah okay not, not at a, not at a brisk pace, but it is moving. Like I'm trying to think why Angie would think that. I mean, I guess nobody else is kind of going down the road or something. Uh, also, that also normal people don't usually travel in carriages, so it's probably an important person. Uh, okay, I guess Angie can kind of point at it and. Uh, uh, you know, uh, yeah. maybe pull at uh, Moonin's sleeve or something. For sure. Uh, <laughs> For sure. What's, no, what, what's <laughs> up? What's up? Um, <laughs> Moonin would look and be like to where Angel's pointing, and I would say like, "Huh, I, I haven't seen one of one of those in a while." Um, I assume Moonin hasn't anyway. Um. Rebob would, like, look up at, like, the sky, specifically at, like, the sun and the position of the sun, and he'd say, it's probably His Excellency's cousin, the one he mentioned. Oh, okay. Ah. Wow. That was... So did we, above board, did we decide what we're doing about that? Above, like, is above, there... Above board, no. Good question. Yeah, that was a good question. Is there, like... We were supposed to ask her for uh, people that would find for us, um, that, maybe? 
basically mm-hmm. she basically she's richer than the than mm-hmm. her boyar so basically the boyar said hey i gave you some money if you need more and potentially more money to bribe the mercenaries to not arrest you guys try to ask mm-hmm. her not me yeah All right and also it was just like to bribe was there any other reason that we because you mentioned her before we talked about the bribe i mean she's a generally rich person richer than your already quite um rich host so if ev- if like there's any i guess favors it would favor be the right term help i guess aid you could you would want from a particularly rich person that's what the boy I was saying. Also, rich oh, okay. rich probably means politically important as well. Sure. Mm-hmm. Okay. I suppose we can we can chat to her after we speak to the witch. Um, just because I feel like that would speaking to this. I don't know about anyone else. Speaking to this woman seems a little bit more. F- Final than speaking to the witch does, if that makes sense. Yeah, I'm sorry, not sure exactly. I, like, yeah, if we find like some, some like if the witch helps us in some way, then yeah. Because right now we're not sure what we're doing anyway. Right. Exactly. Um. So I guess Muna would like make note of where the carriage was going, or where it seemed to be going. I assume above board. I assume it's too. Where the boy are is, or mm-hmm. probably just because Rebob doesn't look concerned and like he was looking up at the sky, basically telling the time. So basically, his thought process was, "Oh, it's about the time when she should be visiting." Okay. All right. Um. Well, in that case, so Moon would say, "In that case, um, I guess we better make this visit quick. Um, we don't want to keep her. We don't want to keep her waiting. Meaning, like, um." The woman in the carriage. Um, Rebob would uh, add that she'd probably be like over by her by her cousin, like visiting, probably until late in the evening. That's usually how things go. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna yeah. ask. We ha- yeah, we have a little bit of time. Okay. Um, all right. Well, should we continue to the witch? Do you think? Yeah, I guess. Hmm. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, also, let me remove old ugly hag the hag from the map. <laughs> 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 yeah, with uh, the like um, information Ilona provided you by asking around, you guys would eventually make your way out of the city and into the uh, northern woodland again. Not particularly dense woodland. Um, it's almost more like a marketing thing because that woodland doesn't provide like a good hiding spot, if that makes sense for a witch's hovel. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Eventually, um, following like the directions Ilona received, you all would eventually see like a mound, a particularly large mound of dirt with a wooden door that. Sorry, that would presumably be the hovel. Sorry, okay. sorry, I've got the hiccups. Okay. <laughs> it's all good. Um, could I care for a roll to see if there are there any? Um, I don't know if Moonin would be able to spot this, but like any kind of like in intra- like trap enchantments, if that makes sense. Oh, sh- uh, pff- Sorry, uh, sure, um, give me a careful roll and also say out loud what you get, please. Okay, um, again, with sharp eyes, is that okay? Yeah, sure, sure. Cool, cool. Oh, shit, um, I got a four on my original one, but then I got a two on an accidental roll. Yeah, well, we, the rule is we take the first, uh, thing, uh, and welcome back, Ashen. Um, welcome back. You guys were just reaching the witch's little hovel. Uh, with a 4 plus a 2, I guess... I guess what I can tell you is that... 
what experience you've had of magic, like, it's invisible, for lack of a better term. Obviously, it has, like, practical effects, but magic, like, as a energy field, for lack of a better term, is something invisible, so it's not something you can see, I guess. Yeah. You would probably be able to see, with that role, like, on, like, some of the trees on the way to the hovel, especially um, more on, the on like, the path that, come, that leads from the city, you would see, like, some scattered magic charms um, that you'd probably be able to identify or with, like, uh, like a, a charm for good luck or, like, uh, warding away evil or whatever. Make sense? Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, definitely, that makes sense. Sure. Um, Again, for to like briefly describe what you see when you arrive at the hovel itself, it's a mound of particularly good condition, the wooden door, but that's the presumably the main way to access it. Yeah. Um, who wants to knock on the door? I think... Ongo is pretty forceful, so I wrote that. <laughs> <laughs> That's good logic, actually. I wrote Ongo as well. <laughs> Ongo shrugs, he just like walks up and, you know, thumps on the door, I guess. So are you like trying to force the door open because you guys were talking about forceful or are you just knocking? No, no, just knocking kind of loudly, I guess. <laughs> a very forceful knock. <laughs> Uh, you hear a voice from inside that, that will say, I told you I'll, ha I'll have the ingredients ready by tomorrow. Um. Uh. Uh, we're, we're not who you think you, you, we're not who you think we are. Um, <laughs> we haven't met before. Why didn't you say that? Come on in already. <laughs> All right. Uh. So Ango pushes the door then. Rebob looks alarmed, I guess. Um, alarmed is maybe too strong of a word. Concerned, but still goes inside with you guys. Okay. Mm -hmm. Could Rebob. <laughs> you cut out Ashen. I just said good Rebob. Oh, okay. I thought you were saying could instead of good. <laughs> Could rebob. <laughs> <laughs> Should rebob. <laughs> <laughs> Can rebob. <laughs> May, etc. Um, yeah, you guys enter the hovel and you see pretty much like a pretty, pretty dilapidated looking, um, not building, um, dwelling. Yeah, dwelling is the right word. You will also. S you also see, I think, and not see, but like the first thing that hits you is this weird smell of rotting herbs and like some weird mixtures that you've never like smelled before. Um, at least you probably haven't smelled before. And you, oh, again, Moonen will notice like the charms that you saw on the trees on the way. Now they're practically like strewn about everywhere. And you also see some like weird looking rocks and rocks like uh drawn with particular patterns on them that you won't really be able to like tell what those are for and um uh, at like a table just like sitting down you will see this uh lady that i think probably looks better than you guys were expecting mm -hmm. oh okay. beautiful lady <laughs> Uh, she, she looks to be fairly young, probably, like, late 20s, let's say. Which I guess would mean ancient in, like, this time frame. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, she says, ah, oh, some interesting, some interesting customers. Come on in, come on in, have a sit. And Luna oh. would, uh, sit down. Yeah, Moon would, as well. Uh, and go also... Rebob would not, funnily enough. <laughs> well, also because of the language barrier. Yeah. Um, Elon would like kind of tug at his shirt or something, like sit down. <laughs> he 
he stares at you and you see like a tinge of fear almost in it on his face like he would rather not be here above board mm. poor rebob <laughs> um okay. i guess he'll uh, have to stand <laughs> um she shrugs mm and says, so what can I do for you? Uh, We're in a bit of a pickle regarding um, a giant wolf, and we would need some help to uh, disperse of this yeah, giant yeah. wolf. Yeah, I heard, I, heard I heard that stuff before, sure. So, hmm, she'd probably look at Ilona and say, so is it, I don't know, someone cheated on you or she'd look at Angel or is it do you want revenge on a parent or something? I know how these <laughs> things go. A giant wolf needs killing. We need help. Ah, oh, I, I thought that was a metaphor. Alright. Oh, sorry, <laughs> I hit I dropped my phone. Um. Well... Do you want me to work a curse? Do, are you, or what is exactly are you looking for? What curse? do you think would be most effective? It sounds good with a curse. Yeah. All right. What's this giant wolf look like? And where did you? Where is it? And why do you want it to kill like it? It looks like a giant wolf. Uh, we are like kind of in a contract with it. We we have to disperse of it, otherwise um, uh, we're in a a bit of another pickle, you know. May I have your um, names? A little bit, like, hesitate to look around. Um. Sure. Uh, Moonin would say. Um, I'm Moonin. She nods, looks at, like, the next person, whomever that may be. Probably Angel, let's say. Okay. Ah, um, this is Angel. <laughs> Moon would say, like, ah, uh, obviously poor Angel. Ah, and I'm Luna. You have, you have a curse yourself, a little boy? Says to Angel. Is that why you can't speak? Did you say you curse yourself? Oh. Did, do you have a curse yourself? Is that why you can't speak? Oh, okay. Uh, Angel shrugs. Hmm. I can perform perform a decursing if you'd like. It'll cost you though. Uh, he puts up a hand like no, no thanks. Suit yourself. And what about you? I looks would. at Re looks at Rebob. Rebob still has his, this alarmed expression. Oh, um, he his name is Rebob. Assuming that, again, assuming they're not speaking caramel. Um, they're not. Uh, she's not. When you say that, Rebob glares at you like, why did you give out my name? But he doesn't actually say that. Oh. <laughs> I mean, it would mouth like, oh, it's, sorry, <laughs> a bit in caramel. Um, how, uh, how about you? What's, what, what might we call you? Why do you want to know? Um, just... Because you know our names. <laughs> uh, we're all introducing ourselves, aren't we? So, w well, what I, might I, we call you? I need your names for my spell. Right. Um, <laughs> well, fair enough, if you don't want to tell us. Tell me more about this wolf. Where did you, find, where did you find it? What does it? What does it look like? How big is it everything i need to be precise um i <clears throat> i don't know how big it is as ash speaking not alona uh, how big is uh, it above board um you saw it like towering above trees when it was like standing on its hind legs um but um you feel free to like give like say oh yeah ilona gives uh, an accurate description of what the wolf looks like. No issues. Okay. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, as for her other questions, 
Um, Which were, where did you find it, and tell me everything else about it. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, a bit south from here, right, in the woods? Yeah, that's where we found it, but, uh, I mean, no, no one really knows where it is now. I think that's part of um, our contract, is to find it before we kill it. Mercenaries? Um, um, not me, and like as in like Moon and Sting, they're not they're not necessary per se. Um, I don't know about everyone else here. Nah. <laughs> I think mm, we're more sort of doing this out of principle um, than uh, sort of contractual like payment versus f payment for services kind of um, situation like I, I feel like this wolf is quite literally bigger than us um, so it, it's probably in all of our best interests to um, sort it out she shrugs and says, Well, you lot are clearly not from here. Don't see why it's your business. Um, we're not, but, uh, it's a, it's a long story. Um, but tell, tell me, it, might, it will help with my spell. Okay. Um, Okay, well... I think it's a magical wolf, and we, we sort of have a brief encounter with, with some magical stuff, so... Ah, we, so, it's a de so it's a decursing you need. Some Someone curse someone else for the wolf to appear, and you need me to decurse it, alright. I don't think so. I don't think it has anything to do with curses. I think it's just a, a little side effect of something else. She looks at you, like, waiting for you to elaborate. Um, do you know the old gods? No. Uh, no. Yeah, the, the old gods, yeah. She said no about <laughs> board. Elona would like no to how to elaborate on that, so she would just say the other how. <laughs> <laughs> she stares um. awkwardly and says Alright, so it's not so it's not a curse, fine. Well do you want me to Give it a pox, give it aggravation, give it bad luck. I all of the above. <laughs> all of the above. I think something stronger than that. Do you have some kind of uh, super super pox that you can give it, or super plague? Jeez. <laughs> um, It'll be expensive. I don't you suppose... Sorry, what did you say, Ashen? Never mind, never mind. Okay. <laughs> uh, that's a good point, Moonen would like bring up. Um, how would you like to be paid for this? Hmm. Well, usually the people that come that come here give, bring food or gifts. You lot have brought neither. Bad first impression. <sighs> I'm not really a welcome sight at markets, so money isn't really that valuable to me. So what do you have to offer? We can offer you some food and supplies for sure. She rolls her eyes and says, for a powerful curse I'll need something more, dear. That's just the opening gift. How about... Moonin has a thought. But I don't know if that. So, uh, this lady. Um, oh, uh, Moonin would just, uh, sorry, come out and say, Do you mind if my friends and I have a quick chat, uh, not to be rude or anything? We kind of just want to discuss what we can offer you. You are being rude, but fine. Um, Moonin would shrug, and in Caramel, um, they would say, Something along the lines of like, this, um, pretend as if, so they would say in caramel, pretend as if I'm talking, um, 
and making sense. I'm, I want to see if she can understand me. Um, Rebob would give you a nod. As for... The lady is just staring at you and you lot like... Um, what's the position where you like clasp your hands on like on like a table and like place your head on the on the hands if that makes sense it's hard to describe it wait wait who's doing that the lady oh the witch, okay the witch um so she's clasping her hands uh placing her head on top of her um closed hands and just staring at you okay. the lo- all of you not just one particular person Moon would say in caramel, like, if she, uh, which lady, if you can understand me, say something. But they would say it in a way that looks as if they're talking to everyone else. You're being very rude, you know, says the lady, the witch. Oh, I don't know if that's, (laughs) I don't know if she could understand me or not. I think so. She can. Really? I got the feeling she can't. I've, uh, it's hard to tell. I think Moon would risk it and say, like, to Alona, obviously, Angel, I'm sorry, uh, I will translate to, this to, to you later. But um, Moon would say in caramel to uh, Rebob and more so to Rebob, but also to Alona to gauge her opinion. Um, Moon would say, like, well, this. This lady just said that she uh, isn't very welcomed in in the town, uh, specifically in the market. So I don't suppose your um, uh, as payment, your um, boyar could give her some sort of protection or um, social. Out of the uh, question. Why is that? I would rather burn this place to the ground. Beep up. I don't know what to say. (laughs) By the way, he has been like he he still has this like slightly fearful expression. He hasn't like deviated it from uh, from it when saying that. Also, as if to like mask mask it in case she can understand you guys. Yeah, she can't write whatever. Well, what is Minu would ask what? Why, um, why is this out of the question? She's a witch. You don't consort with witches. We should leave. I suppose it's a bit too late for that, isn't it? I mean, we're here for her help. How, how is it too late? We're give in the, her house. Give the word and I'll run her through. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 Reba. You we're behave. Not, yeah, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. Um, all I think is, all I'm thinking is, uh, and Imuna would look to Alona, like, if she, uh, I feel like acceptance within the community would be more than enough payment. I mean, this house is, this house, <laughs> this house, like, Moonin would air quote, um, isn't exactly very, um, uh, sophisticated, and I don't think that, <laughs> I don't think she's living here because of the, um, the cheap rent, you know? If my master Above. if my master found out you were consorting with witches or even considering it, I assure you any deal you made would be off the table. Think of a different op- option if you must. Hmm. All right, so be it. Um any ideas? Uh, Moon would ask Elena. Uh We still have some coin, the agent one, right? Not that they would do much, but maybe she can, like, change them with the next customer. Mm, perhaps. We don't have anything on us that is more valuable in, like... I mean, um... I have the pistol still, the captain's pistol. I could part with that. As... Hey, uh... Um, but what would she do with it? Mm, shoot something. <laughs> shoot something. 
I don't know um, if there there's an angry mob ever. She she would have some protection. I I guess, but then she does have hexes and and everything. Oh, you're very right. You're very right. She could. I mean, you're you're right, Moon would say. You're right. She could uh, find some use in these, um, in these things, uh, like referring to the uh, um, ancient coins. Perhaps they have some kind of physical properties that she could, I don't know, boil in a stew or in a in a in a cauldron. I don't know. By the way, like above board, I'm hundred percent sure she understands this. <laughs> she probably does. <laughs> I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> um, Maybe we should just ask her what what's the best we can do for her, and then like that's the next thing we get for. Her. Um, I guess you're right. So, and then Muna would speak in the local language um, again. Um, we've had a good chat. Um, we have a few things we could offer you, but I, we want to hear from you. What? What do you desire? <sighs> she sighs. Like, that sigh was her, not me. Uh, yeah. and, <laughs> and she says, I don't know. Yesterday, a, wo a woman offered, well, asked me to curse her ex-husband in exchange for the soul of her firstborn. Though it's souls you're after? That's just an example. Again, you haven't brought the customary gifts, so you're still in debt, so to say. Mm. Um. Well. How about this? We'll... We will... One of us, not all of us, but maybe one of us will be back because, um, because above boards, are like, we also have to talk to, um, the cousin of the boyer. Um, how about this? Um, we'll be, one of us will be back with, um, the provisional, like, uh, gifts, and then we'll negotiate then as to what we can give you in return. You better make it double for the two for the two visits. You're wasting my time. And if you don't come back, I will hex you. I promise you that. I have your names. I don't doubt it. <laughs> um. Well, you have my word. Do I have? She like looks at the rest of you. Your words as well. Sure thing. Looks at Angel. Uh, he kind of nods. Not very enthusiastically. Looks at Rebob. Rebob stares at her. She stares at Rebob. <laughs> he's a um, bit difficult, but he's he'll come around, I'm sure. Yeah. He he I mean he is not gonna come back later. It's he, you don't really need his approval, surely. I do need gifts. He came to visit. How about I give you a gift from him? On, sorry, how about later on I'll give you a gift on his behalf? That works. She shrugs. Do you right. really like gifts? How else am I supposed to make a living? Mm. Understandable. Well, um, so, this text, uh, how does this work? For the wolf, you mean, or for the one I'll, the ones I'll put on you if you don't honor your word? <laughs> uh, for the wolf, uh, let's let's pretend that these uh, for the wolf. <laughs> well, that's for me to know. I, uh, all you need to know is that wolf, whatever, if it's. Whatever it's a pox or aggravation or bad luck, it will come to suffer and to suffer from those. If you want and something more powerful, as you were asking, which will be more costly, I'll remind you, then the effect will be so. Um, well, more powerful would definitely be 
Um, preferred. She looks at Angel and says, You sure you don't want a decursing deer? <laughs> Angel uh, waves his hands at her. Like, no, no. She shrugs. That would be so cool, though, if, like, Angel started to talk midway through the campaign. Yeah. That would be kind of cool, but I'm not, I'm not, mm, yeah. No pressure. No pressure. (laughs) Above above board, me and Showentil have not discussed, like, well, actually we have discussed kind of why Angel cannot speak. Um, Not in detail, though. I was show and tell would know that it's probably not a curse. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I don't think that's really the issue. Mm. <clears throat> Fair enough. Um, so, Moon would ask, uh, how will we know you've put the hex, curse- uh, sorry, the hex on the, on the wolf? She sighs, very irritated, and says, you will know you want me to put a hex on you to prove it? Uh, no, you're no. right. I'll take your word for it. Um. Okay, well, we will be back shortly. Um, is there anything else you need from us until we next meet? I have everything I need, if you don't honor your word. Hmm. Okay, well, we will see you soon. Assuming (laughs) that the uh, wolf doesn't eat us alive. She shrugs and... uh, Yeah, says nothing. Just stares at you and uh, says, Don't slam the door on your way out. (laughs) Above board, like, all the while we were talking, I was, like, looking online for horoscopes and trying to find something as generic as possible to like give as a sort of fall prediction but i didn't find anything like generic enough to be like available potentially for all of you ah that is <laughs> just a little a little bit behind the scenes i guess and yeah um she stares at she stares at you do you guys depart do you uh do anything else ask for anything else etc Oh, uh, yes, as Moonin stands, uh, they remember, they go, Oh, uh, I completely forgot. Um, I've got a, I've got this banging headache. Um, I don't suppose you've got anything for that. Oh, I, well, I don't know if Moonin has it yet, but um, I will probably have a banging headache in the next hour or so. Do you have anything for that? You reek of drink, so I can guess the cause. Yes, I do. What's uh what's what are you offering? Um more of the same later on. I'll will uh have more gifts for you later, especially if um you're a bit of a <laughs> especially if you indulge like I do and then Moonin would like shake their um uh, what's it called? Like a water skin? Because uh, if we remember, mm. the the water skin is filled with the same booze yeah. that yeah. they uh, yeah. Um, if you're a drinker, I mean, there's plenty of this going around. Those the mind. I don't partake. She say she will sigh and say, <sighs> "Very well, but if you break your word, I assure I assure you that the curse will be all the more foul." All right. Uh, well, wait here. Okay. Yeah. And um, she goes in the back, and you hear like sounds of like rummaging. Um, Moon would ask, "Oh, and uh, if you can, can you make it a double for my friend here?" And like patting, <laughs> if <laughs> Angle would let them pat Angle on the shoulder <laughs> for double the cost, fine. Yeah. Yeah, sure. If you, like, in this, like, moment of reprieve, you you maybe will notice that all the while Rebob has been, like, holding his hand on, like, the hilt of his sword. Yeah. 
<laughs> I think Moon would like say you you can in caramel obviously you can wait outside now if you want I mean if if you feel um uncomfortable in here you you all should also feel uncomfortable uh she she seems nice <laughs> <laughs> He stares at you with the most WTF face you've ever seen. <laughs> Honestly, we've dealt with worse. Um, and like what? For all it's worth, sorry. Like what? He asks. Um. Well, story for another day, I guess. A story for another day. Yeah, we could write a book with everything that we've been through <laughs> these past uh, this past week. I'm willing to listen. Um, well, uh, one of the things we had to deal with was, on the way here, was, um, I don't suppose you've, and above all, I don't know if Moon has ever seen this before either, but, um, I don't suppose you've seen a, a snake before? Or a lizard? Of course I have. Well... He, he like, deflates for a bit, like, wait, that's it? Uh, no, 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 that's not it, <laughs> Moon would say. Um... Imagine a lizard, but um, the size of an elephant. And if it looks at you, you turn to stone. Above board, I don't know if this is Delhi misremembering or Moon and embellishing, but the basilisk was not the size of an elephant. <laughs> uh, probably a little bit of both. <laughs> sure. He raises an eyebrow at you and says, so how, if you fought those sorts of creatures before, then this wolf should be no problem for you lot, right? Uh, well... It's... I mean... It, true that. <laughs> true that, yeah. I mean, uh, it, sh it shouldn't be a problem, but then at the same time, the more help we can get, the better. We got lucky a couple of times b before this. I'm, I'm sure it's safe to say. So how did you defeat that one? We got lucky. Um, How? Well, um, we managed to fashion uh, shields out of wood so that the basilisk couldn't turn us to stone. And um, we managed to slay the beast. Um, however, uh, it wasn't without great effort. I mean, I nearly lost my arm. Mm. Uh, I had to, I had to visit a, um, Moon would go on. I had to visit a, and again, I might be misremembering it board. Um, I had to visit a lady just like this, um, or someone similar at least to fix my arm. His so, like, brow furrows like he's not happy to hear that, but he says nothing. Yeah. All I'm saying is that, um, well, as far as I can see, this uh, witch has nothing for us to fear. In t at least compared to a massive wolf. He says nothing. Just stares at you with, like, this expression that sa that says, I disapprove, if that makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> Moon would say, ah, you're coming around. He says nothing again. Mm. Uh, by this point, I think the witch would return to the um, um, main room, so to say. She's carrying two wooden uh, cups uh, that are both filled with uh, a liquid. Uh, the liquid is looks greenish and is bubbling. Uh, oh, yummy! God. She's, she says, uh, drink this outside. Outside? Why? Uh, why outside? I don't want you to make a mess in here. Um, what kind of mess? She looks at you like uh, with a, like, are you serious expression. Says, what kind of mess do you think? Uh, um... I'm not so sure about this. Um, well, 
if um if it was going to kill me then you're not you're not going to get your uh your your gifts later so it must it must be okay if i wanted to kill you you'd already be dead Touche. Mm -hmm. and uh, then i would like start um reaching for angle and me and take them out saying like Let let's go Let let's go yeah. let's look for the gifts now <laughs> Do you take the we'll... drinks with you? Yeah. Well, Mooney does. Does Angel? Uh, oh, I kind of thought Mooney took both of them, but I guess, um, yeah, Angel will also take it, but he will wait for Mooney to drink. Yeah. <laughs> um, as they walk out, Mooney would say, I will, I'll see you later. Um, you better. And, uh, don't uh don't miss me too much. If you were to look back, she would look somewhat insulted, if that makes sense. <laughs> Alright, fair <dude. laughs> Um I think Moonin would like look to Anger and be like, Are you ready for this? And then like they take a sniff of the thing. It smells foul. Like uh, fermented uh, fermented plants, if that makes sense. Yeah. Uh. You ready for this? Uh, Angel shakes his head or resistlessly. You see Rebob like shaking his head at the both of you, like disapproving. <laughs> yeah. <All> right. <gasps> um, come on, <laughs> Moon would say, "Come on, you can't leave. You can't uh, leave me to do this by myself." Okay, you, Angel, you uh, mix like mix ready to, to like. To do it. Yeah. Okay, I think Mooney would like um, if Ang if Angel would let them. Mooney would link arms with Angel. <laughs> so, like, so like, there's this there's this thing that people do, where they link arms, and like, right. both take a shot at the same time. Yeah. With the same <laughs> like with the arm that is linked. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Mooney uh -oh. would do Mooney would do that with Angel if Angel would let them. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> right. Ready? Three? Two? Ah, let's just do it. Go! <laughs> and then, like, they would, like, throw it back and take a shot. Or, oh, not the shot, but the whole glass. Okay, Angel didn't. <laughs> Angel does not? <laughs> he waited. He wants to see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> so, um, what would Moon's, Moonin's reaction be, do you think? Like, True. <laughs> like, are you True. asking to Angel or to the drink? Oh, to the drink. Well, first off, the taste is foul, positively. It f tastes like rot and like meat that's been out for too long. Uh, as for what else the drink may do, may I get a forceful from you, please? Oh, God. Okay. Uh, I rolled a four. Okay. With a four, you feel like a brief, like, stabbing pain in your stomach for a second. Um, well, more than a second, for like 10 seconds. Probably enough to, like, make you keel over for a bit. But after that, the pain is suddenly gone, as is your headache. A four, uh, is, a, a four is a very good roll. Oh, that's good. Nice. Okay, so I'm gonna, uh... <laughs> Takes a shot as well. Uh, same taste, show and tell, but may I get Angel's forceful? Mm -hmm. It's a five. Oh, nice. Yeah, uh, then same thing. You feel this like stabbing pain. Uh, probably all the more uh, painful given your injury. Uh, but yeah, after a couple seconds, the headache and the drunkenness. And um, the pain from, like, um, whatchamacallit, you drinking that, but also the pain from your wound would be gone. Damn, nice. Oh, nice. Uh, Angel kind of, you know, fingers his, uh, his wound, like, if you like to check. Yeah, if you finger it, uh, the wound is still there, and you, you, you know that thing where, like, you poke, like, a, a wound, uh, like, 
I don't know, sore or whatever and hurts a little bit, you get that. Mm -hmm. Like, you're not healed. It's just that the pain is gone. And after you do that, you, like, start feeling a little bit of the pain coming back just because it was such a severe injury, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. So you get the inkling that you probably shouldn't poke at it too much. Yeah. And, and that eventually the pain will fully come back. Okay. So it's just like this kind of, I don't know, like sedative? Not sedative. Uh, sort of. Something that, you know, pain like kill? a painkiller, basically. Yeah, kind yeah. of. Yeah, kind of. Um, but it also, like, took away your, your guys' drunkenness. So does that. Yeah. Okay, cool. Oh, that tasted rotten. <laughs> Really would say. Um, do you above think... board? Do you want me to tell you what would have happened if you had rolled poorly? Yeah, I think. Yeah. Um, the the same positive effects, but the negative would be, um, you'd be firing out of both ends. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, I thought uh, there would be vomiting involved, but uh, okay, well. <laughs> more than that, but yeah. It would have happened right away. <laughs> In like the span of a minute. Oh god. Think of that nap. <laughs> like, you know in the Harry Potter movies when Ron Weasley's always like, Wicked! Like with this kind of disgusted, <laughs> like yet intrigued face. That would be it, Lona right now. She'd be like, Wow! <laughs> Wicked! <Yeah. laughs> uh, well... Uh, uh, Ronin would be surprised that it actually worked, but um, yeah, exactly. but they wouldn't like, like. I think they would sort of, um, t <laughs> yeah, definitely. They would tip out. Um, I think they would get their like um, water skin and tip out the the booze. I think, <laughs> and it's just be like, ah, oh, like um, if that's what it takes to get rid of a hangover. Uh, I don't think I want to drink again for a while. You hear, you hear a voice from inside the hut. Oi, no littering. Uh, <laughs> ah, sorry. Um, <laughs> and it, it would stop, obviously. Um, okay, well, that was something. <laughs> I guess we should. Moon, uh, Moon would say. I guess we should go see the boyar's cousin. Let's go do so. Um, go I I don't know what I was going to say to be honest. Um, so I guess Moonen would look to um, Rebob and say, "Like, uh, do you want to lead the way?" He shrugs and and says, "Not not like you don't know it either." But he shrugs and we'll do so. Hmm. You see probably like hints of relief at being away from this place. Yeah. Um Cool. Hmm. While you guys um travel, what's like the I guess marching order, let's say? I think Ilona would walk um but she doesn't know the way. She does know the way. You, I, all of you would know the way, more or less. Okay. Yeah. She, she would definitely pick up some pace. Yeah. So let's okay. say, let's say you're more or less next to Rebob, Ilona. Sure. Okay. Angela. Uh, Angela might be behind. I guess I don't know. Yeah. Um, but he's like keeping up. He's just like behind a little bit. Yeah. I think Moonen would walk with Angel as long as Angel would let them. Okay, sure. So it's like two and two in a way. Which is a funny enough coincidence because uh, Rebob was looking for an opportunity to talk to Ilona. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so he will, uh, while you guys are walking, he will ask Ilona, may I ask what, you, what your story is? Mm. Yeah, sure. Um, 
I'm kind of uh, on the traveling foot myself as well. Um, got in a bit of a misunderstanding somewhere and made some enemies, so I kind of try to lay a low profile. But it seems like everywhere I go, it's still following, you know? You know? Like with the mercenaries here. Hmm. How about yourself? Well, my story is a very long one, but if I may ask, does your journey involve um, troubles at the Tivian court, perhaps? Elona would like... Uh, kind of dodged the question like we have time I, I want to hear we we have a long <laughs> way I've seen people like you before your hands you have no calluses you've never done manual labor in your life so you're clearly from a privileged place and the accent with which you speak it's clearly Tivian <laughs> okay okay maybe 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 she would like uh, smile at that He smiles back and he and he says, "Well, care to care to guess where I'm from?" Then I don't think Yelona would have a clue, or would she? Oh, I mean, it's pretty obvious by his skin tone where the general region of the world uh, he's from. But uh, other than that, feel free to like give me a careful to see if like there's anything like distinguishing you can tell from him. Three, I got. Well, that's decently good. Um, you would probably see like some stray insignia that would indicate that at one point or another he was a caramel soldier, if that makes sense. Um, mm -hmm. he, me he mentioned at one point, uh, what's the word that I used? Uh, damn, not, I closed the sheet, but basic, basically he is from Nehesi, um, this world's equ equivalent of, I guess, uh, the Sban, if that makes sense. You kind of cut out on my part. What was the last thing you said? This world's equivalent of, like, Sudan, the region. Okay. All right. Uh, so he mentioned that he's from there, and you see, like, insignia of, like, a caramel soldier. <laughs> I don't know that with that role. Hmm... Unlike you, he does have very calloused hands, I guess. And you maybe and when he was like wrestling you guys naked, you saw plenty of scars. Okay. So I would relay that he was uh, a caramel soldier from Sudan area and probably had some a lot of manual work and like rough physical. Uh, what do you say at that? Hmm. Yes, I suppose that's obvious enough. Good hint on catching where I'm from. Hmm. I, supp I suppose we're both very, very far away from home. Cut out again for me. Yeah. Sorry, uh, I, think, I think I was speaking away from the microphone. I suppose we're both very, very far away from home. Yes. <laughs> I assume you said far away from home, but... <laughs> Can you guys hear me now? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay, sorry. This is the end of your sentences. They kind of get caught up. I will, I don't know, try to speak closer to the microphone, I guess. Mm -hmm. Don't know what else to tell you. <laughs> uh, what's the reason you came here? He, like... Hmm ponders for a bit as to like how to word it properly and says well I was captured as a slave when I was young I won my way out and well military service brought me to these parts and then to his excellency's employ I see do you plan on staying here or do you have uh Plans of giving away. It's traveling a, further. This is a fine place, quiet enough before the wolf showed up. Yeah, I believe that. <laughs> um, Coincidence. <laughs> he, 
he says, I wish people wouldn't treat me as an oddity, uh, given how I look, but it's fine enough. So, may I ask you for a favor of not telling anybody uh, the things you've taken away from, from like where I'm from and my background so far? Would be very kind of you. Hmm. A sensitive point, I imagine. Yeah. Kind of. Hmm. I'm willing to listen, if you're willing to tell. Well, are you gonna talk to people about it, or...? <laughs> Who would I talk to? <laughs> the fucking boy or someone. <laughs> Do you say, like, the boyar? Yeah. He shrugs and says, If he asks, I will tell, as is my duty. If he does not ask, I will not tell. Then in that case, maybe another time. Do you think he has reason to ask? I think he seems very suspicious of us in general, so I, I'd rather uh, keep a low profile. I, I bet you understand that. Right. Well, I, does he have a reason to believe you'd be from Tivia? I don't know. I don't know the boy art, so... Fair enough. Fair enough. I apologize for not offering more... Yeah, not offering more. I'm not above board. I'm not sure how to phrase the word, but I get what. Um, but I think you get what I mean. Mm. Not offering more guarantees. I guess it would be the word you'd say. I see. I see. Uh, it'll be like, well, if you change your mind about staying here, we could use a, a good um, fighter like you in our group. We would definitely need that. Do you pay well? Huh? Do you pay well? We come out cash some crack cash. And I don't think we would be your employers, but take what you find. Hmm, you'd be surprised. Never say never say never. If for whatever reason uh I decide to not to quit my job, then very well. I would not mind it. Interesting. Looking forward to how it unfolds. How, uh, how did the three of you meet, if I may ask? A Tivian, a local, and a... He, like, glances at Moon and in the back, and he, like, ponders for a bit and says, Eastlander, I'm guessing? Ah, good guess. Who are we? Um... Uh, that's... Uh, well, we all met at a bar. Um, and we were all on the road for one reason or another, at least, um, not so much for this one, uh, meaning, and then meaning with Pat Anger. Mm. Um, so it's just a, a big coincidence. He nods and says, and why are you traveling together, if I may ask? Um... I hope, I, I hope it's not to murder soldiers. And he, like, smiles. <laughs> I assure you it's not. Yeah. It, it has a similar theme to, to what the things we've been through today. A lot of uh, coincidences and unexpected happenings that I didn't think was possible. Like the woman before, for example. I see. Why is this happening, then? Why are these things happening? Do you know? Um. Well. It, it does seem like a lot of these occurrences are happening more often than I've ever um, experienced them. Um, I don't know if that makes sense, it's even made sense grammatically, but... Um, it could be, again, it could be coincidence, or it could be to do with, um, 
Maybe the gods are after us. The gods. Um, or... Yeah, the gods. Or... Uh, I don't suppose you believe in any kind of... Supernatural, like... Um, people like... Gods, people like the witch, but to a massive, massive extent. Uh, above... Above, sorry, above board. Was Rebob like there for the sons of Akesius? Right. No. Okay. If anything, he probably saw it from a distance at best. Okay. Did he um, feel like the the heat from it, or was it just? Uh... I mean, the heat was very much concentrated on where Moon and Anangil and Loss were. Okay. Yeah. Um, he would frown and say, there's only, there's only one god friend, and he would not act in this way. Ah. I think um, Luna wouldn't, like, start the conversation with that, so she would just, like, nod and stay silent. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think Moon's gonna tread lightly, too. Um, they would say, well, um, be that as it may, there are people that um hold a lot of power so um a lot of other people um would see them as gods whether that be true or not so are you um, are you speaking of other boyars other nobles um other more powerful <laughs> yeah more powerful than that princes uh, the vizier? Pashas? More powerful than that. Um, I don't suppose you have saints in that that you believe in? We have the messengers of God. Close enough, I guess, from to your concept. Then, yeah. I guess it's the same thing, but they don't work for, for your God. They just do whatever they want. <laughs> Demon um, worshippers, then. Uh, if you like. And they seem to get in... Um, <laughs> we seem to be associated uh, with them quite uh, often as of late. Uh, not associated as in on their side, but more so against them. <laughs> if there are any nearby, you should let my excellency know. They should be hunted down and, and hung from the main square. Hmm. Um. Uh, it's a little bit more complicated than that, but we will let him know. Was the old woman one of them then? Uh, she she's was... impartial. She's not. Yeah, she's more. Um, how do I put this? She's a little bit more like the witch. But she's not a witch. She is just who she is. Just she is just who she is. So she is a witch. Um, not the way you're you're thinking of it. You, you haven't encountered her like a being like her before. So not a witch, but I guess it's the closest thing we can like make it understandable. Although she's not a witch. Yeah. Then if I may ask, which side are you on? Um, Do you mean like demon worshippers or, or... Or good people? Good people, of course. <laughs> yeah, good people. Would good people go to ask for the help of a witch? To help so save a village from a huge wolf, yes. I suppose that would be a matter of debate, but... <sighs> Very well. I understand. And he'd sort of look at Angel and he'd ask, You don't understand what I'm saying, do you? Angel was mad at him. <laughs> oh. 
he look at guess at moon and Orilona because he doesn't know what that means. <laughs> he doesn't understand, you know. Mm. Why is why is he traveling with you? Is he your guide? Poor guide, one who cannot speak. I guess he's in a guide in a way. What do you think, Alona? Um, I mean, he doesn't know the area better than we do. It's like the furthest he's been as well. But yeah, Angel, you I get guess... you get like this awkward feeling where you know people are talking about you, but you don't know what they're mm-hmm. saying. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's kind of, you know, looking at, at like, kind of, you know, kind of, how do you say, you know, passing his eyes from one person to another, but, like, yeah. mm-hmm. um, Moon would say, um, he's, I mean, like Alona said, he's, uh, local, but, so he knows some of the area better than us, but at the same time, he's further, he's probably further away from home than he's, than he's ever been. Mm-hmm. Um, above board, I don't know if that's true, but, um, yeah. above board it is, but more than we yeah. know that. Okay. Um, but he's a strong lad. I mean, look at him. He's, uh, oh, I, I know, mean, I know he's strong. He's the one who beat me. Yeah. And he gives Angel like a smile like, yeah, good job. Mm. I feel God said it. Like, yeah, sure. Mm. <laughs> um Is he yeah. the is he the type who is stronger while Stay sober for sure. <laughs> then I should I should like to have a match with him when he is fully recovered. Do you like losing, Ilona would like joke? <laughs> <laughs> Live and learn, as they say. He would be a a good teacher, I think. Not saying much, but he has some skills people can learn, I think. Oh, such as? (laughs) The extreme force. Always getting the killing blow. (laughs) Never misses. (laughs) Do you say that? Yeah. (laughs) He looks confused. (laughs) Stick around and find out. (laughs) May I ask one of you to ask him? Um, Ask him, as in ask Angel. He nods. Uh, To to show Ababo, to show... Revob, like, oh, what, what is Revob asking? Sorry. Yeah, I suppose he will. It was kind of vague. Uh, he, like, seeing the hesitation, he will say, "Well, first off, if he'd like to have a match with me, uh, once again with me sometime, and second, and, and second off, <laughs> what is he capable of doing that uh, your friend here speaks so highly of?" I see. Um. Moonin would say to our girl, like, oh, um, Rewob wants to rematch with you at some point when you're feeling a little bit better. What do you say? Uh, uh, I'm trying to think of, of a way that Anga can show kind of approval, I guess. A nod? <laughs> yeah, that's boring, though. Kind of been... I don't know. Um... Uh, I don't know if it means what I think, <laughs> you know, to kind of like do the, you know, that emoji where you have that, uh, that, that, um, feel free to type it in chat. That arm, <laughs> <laughs> the arm emoji. <laughs> the, the flex emoji. Oh, so yeah, Ar- yeah, yeah. Argo flexes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, does, that, does that make sense? I'm not sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> Rebob would chuckle and say, "Confident then." <laughs> yeah, he's a he's a strong lad. What can I say? Um, he could probably pick me up with uh, his pinky finger. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. He I agree. He was strong. 
I I think he I think actually I don't know what he, what I was thinking. I lost my train of thought. <laughs> I agree, he's strong. Um, and for the other question, he's also asking. Moon would say he's also asking how you managed to. Um, get the killing blow in a lot of our fights, but I suppose that's just the case of being like, how do I put this? Um, I guess he, so let me backtrack. Um, he's asking as to whether or not you, you can show him how you managed to get so many killing blows. Um, so I guess a, uh, I don't know, like uh, by being slower than everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what would he say to that? I don't know. Uh, I was gonna like at first. I was gonna like have him pull out the ladle, kind of. But I, <laughs> but he was like one fight though. Mm-hmm. Uh. I don't know. Um, if you're unsure, but generally agree. Oh, it's up to you. Is that the case, or uh, show and tell? What, what do you mean? I, I'm not sure. Um, I... Is Angel willing to show off how he's like good at? getting like kills and everything i don't know how you would do that but like because the rematch like kind of makes sense if you know what i'm saying but either way um okay know. like like stay like um i don't know how you say that um like actions are better than words basically yeah yeah, that okay. that is that is just Angel. That is Angel's like description <laughs> to a T. I, mean, um, I guess he doesn't have a lot else to work with. <laughs> yeah, I think Moonin would say that actually because that's really well put. Um, hmm. I think Moonin would say, "Well, I mean, his actions speak louder than his words." Yeah, that was as crazy. you can see. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. He nods and will add nothing more to the conversation uh, as you guys continue to travel. But you guys feel free to talk if you want to. Um, Moon would ask Alona, like, he ne- like not in caramel, but the uh, other language, the local language. Um, Moon would ask Alona, like, is that true? What I what what, what I just heard earlier. About me coming from Tibia? Um, not just that, but I mean. By the way, I think I've told them that before, right? That I'm yes. from Tibia. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah, you have, yeah. But Moonim will continue, like, continue to say, like, it seemed like you were going to tell them more about yourself than you've even told us. You guys know I'm on their own as well. I don't think I've told him more. That's true, but then you have, you've never told us why. I, I think, anyway. Uh, Have I? Ilona, Ilona has. Ilona has. Yeah. Has she? Yeah. yeah. She, the information was dragged out of her uh, via a chicken. With the chicken. <laughs> <laughs> oh. well, uh, maybe disregard everything I said. What was the reason, can I ask? Uh, it was like um, Ilona had um, killed a very high up person. Because ah. her friend was married to him and he was not treating her right, so she killed that son of a bitch and yeeted herself out of there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Go alone now. Um, <laughs> Slay! <laughs> Slay! <laughs> my apologies. Uh, completely disregard what I said then in that case. I don't think Moonin would like. Uh, Moonin may- might say, like, um, wow, you, like, you seem to trust him. Quite a lot, as in Rebob, um, being willing to tell him, like, about everything. 
I think like, um, I don't have too much to lose on that right now. I think the boy are just onto us a fair bit either how, and I don't know. It just feels. Hopefully, we have a friend in this rather than an enemy. Hmm. Yeah, let's hope so. Uh, I mean, two iron girls uh, wouldn't would be better than one. <laughs> That's very true. <laughs> um. At least we at least we can understand this one. Uh, yeah. Referring to, referring to <laughs> no offense, I uh, I was about to say that's kind of rude. Yeah, <laughs> no offense. <laughs> I mean, we worked on this language together. <laughs> that's true. That's true. <laughs> fine, it's um, fine. I, 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 no, okay. I guess you are speaking in Remar right now, so I get this guy. I I go would understand, wouldn't he? Yeah, it's his language. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought for a second that. I don't know why I thought. Um, Muna would like playfully, maybe like not punch Angel, but like nudge him and be like, I'm only joking, mate, like that kind of thing. Um, but yeah. <laughs> uh, do let me know. Uh, if you'd like to talk about anything else or look for something or whatever, or if we should fast forward a little bit. I'll be done for fast forwarding. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, let's do that. Mm -hmm. uh, you're heading to the boyar's house, I'm guessing, right? Yep. Yeah. Uh, as you pass through the town, may I get uh, a careful from you to see if you all notice something? Yes. Um, could I... <laughs> Four. Could I plus two mine? <laughs> uh, yeah, it is. Uh, it will be a plus two. Cool. Ah, I got a two. Plus two, anyway. So, four for Ilona and uh, Moonin. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, as you're passing through the main town square, you see like a... Sm not crowd, but like a couple people... Um, just like looking at something with like a WTF expression, so to say. Well, actually, they'd be look they'd be looking, they'd not be facing you. My bad. But they're looking at something, uh, and they're like discussing among each other. And if you were to look like at what they might be looking, you think you see someone in the like little body of water to the south of the, of the main square. Hmm. What? Okay. Uh, that's odd. Uh, should we go investigate? Sure. Why is this, um... <laughs> Moon would probably comment and say, like, I mean, I went for a swim earlier. Why does when, why don't I get this much attention? Exactly where is it? In the body of water south of the... Uh, do you see... Stuff? Do you see where I'm pinging? Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Yeah. Ah, uh -huh. I see. So, uh, let me know if you all go there. Yes. Hmm? Uh, you pass by the two onlookers who look momentarily startled uh, at you guys passing. And you will see... Give me a second. Uh, in the, like, little uh, body of water... Now you understand why they were all looking like what the hell is going on. Because you will see uh, someone just like drinking gulps of water from the oh. river. river. Oh. Let's, let's go. The bitch is back. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as Uncle realizes who it is, he stops in his tracks, I think. Uh, do you, like, stop close enough to potentially get his attention, or...? No. No attention. <sighs> Angel, uh... I don't know. How far away does he need to be to realize who it is? Let's say, like, five meters or... Well, no, no, to, like, you for Angel to realize, uh... Mm -hmm. Probably, like, 20 meters, let's say. Uh, because you recognize the clothes, and what he's oh, doing okay. if that makes sense yeah 
Okay, so so I feel like, you know, hangs back. I don't know about the others, though. Um, the others would recognize the voice first as well. Yeah. Um, I would not interact with him, I think. I would skip that. I think Moonin would be confused. So probably Moonin would probably notice this and be a little bit confused, like why are we ignoring him? The like two um, other on onlookers will like say because they you know, I imagine you guys have paused like fairly close to them. They're like mutter, he's been drinking for like half an hour. Yeah, he does that. Um weirdo. <laughs> yeah. Uh I'm surprised he hasn't infl inflated like a balloon at this point. I'm su um, I'm surprised he hasn't emptied that whatever he's drunk on the other end. <laughs> um. Well, he, yeah. I mean, I mean, we'd look to everyone and say, like, are we gonna go say hello? Or remember last time? I don't think it's gonna pan out super good. I would be down for just leaving as it is. Uh -huh. I go like I think he thinks back to you know what the hag said. Sorry, I call it that. Um, and he's like it's clicking in his mind, you know, kind of like he, he's been kind of suppressing it, I guess, repressing it. I don't know. Um, and also he was drunk then and stuff. But uh... like uh, it does, um, not like a voice because it isn't like a good deed or a bad deed or whatever, but it almost feels like right that you should go and talk to him. Like, yeah, that's what's supposed to happen. Yeah. I think a part of Angel doesn't like that, that he's being kind of forced, like not forced, but kind of like nudged in a certain direction. Nudged is a very good way of saying it, yeah. Hmm... But, um, yeah, but I don't think he, like, God, I know it's a lot to deal with, <laughs> like, <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I'll put him closer to where he is on the map. Um, I guess Angle kind of sides to himself. And then he kind of, like, ignores, I mean, Yelona just said that he doesn't want to, you know, talk to him, right? He just kind of ignores them, I guess, and um, and moves fo forward like to stand by. Always thirsty. Um, obviously, <laughs> sorry, Ilona and Moonin. You see that if you want to like potentially stop Angel, if that's what you're thinking. Um, I don't know if if Moonin would do it simply because I, I'm not entirely sure if they would in other uh, I don't know if they would know to, if that makes sense like, I I mean they seem a little bit confused, if that makes sense like, why, why aren't we saying hello? <laughs> um, but that doesn't mean that Alona can't stop Angel <laughs> and then if, if Alona is like this is a bad idea, don't talk to him, Moon might uh, join in and say, like, Elena's onto something, don't talk to him. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, I would probably, like, intervene a little bit, like, no, I don't think this is a good idea. Like, last time we parted, he was really upset with us, and it's it's a lot either how to deal with wolves and mercenaries. And that as well, I just want to forget about it. Uh, well, I don't remember how we, we parted with telling him to take the children away, right? Mm -hmm. Was that how we parted? Yeah. And Wasn't he like, I hope you never, I hope we never see you again, you imbeciles or something? <laughs> Not because you were imbeciles, quote unquote, but because uh, he thought like um, you were like abandoning the children and all that. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, Angel, uh, I mean, does she stop him physically? Like with an arm or something. Wait, was it only so so mild? I remember it like much worse. If if it was only like that mild, it's it's. Oh, he, he was surprised. very upset at you guys, uh, but he was upset because he thought that you were, were like callous people who would 
like abandoned children in the middle of the woods. Which is pretty uh, bad. Which is pretty bad. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, for sure. Understandable. I would do that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, Ilona would still like. Angled. Is this really necessary? Do we have to do this right now? He nods at her like very resolutely, and he um, signs like can help with Wolf. Oh, you think so? Well. He shrugs, like, maybe. I trust you, Angle. You, you go for it in that case. So he goes. Hmm. Yeah. And, like, kind of stinks. The hmm. um, he's, like, <laughs> sorry, gulping down water from a bucket. And uh, that, obviously, he's filled from, like, the small little body of water. And he probably, like, kind of startled him by just standing there. He says, ah, oh. oh. Oh, you again. Uh... For some reason... <laughs> Never mind, that was really weird. Um... Uh... <laughs> uh... Well, Angel, uh... Yeah. Nods. Yeah. Hmm. Me. Oh, have a sit if you want. I've I've uh, I've taken their children to their relatives. No thanks to you. Mm -hmm. uh, did you hear what I said about board? Yeah, I'm uh, trying to think. How uh, I'm have... asking because I was facing away from the microphone, and that's why. Oh yeah, no, I did hear. Um, like, like I want to say thank you or something. But that's so like big mm -hmm. <laughs> Whatever. Um you like comment idly. This water's clean enough. I guess there's a play going on, that's why not many, that many people are using it. Why why am I why are we talking about this? Uh, can I help you? Actually it gives you a look. Don't, like like Angel can't um can talk to him. <laughs> I'm trying to think about like, cause, uh, yeah. Hmm? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Gives Angela a look, like narrows his eyes and like shakes his head and says, oh, uh, "Well, I'm. I think I'm supposed to look for someone around here. I think." Oh no. <laughs> Angel kind of avoids his eyes. For the time being, um, and uh, trying to think how he communicates. Anything? Are your friends with you? Uh, I get points at them, I guess. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering if they like scurried away or if they're still there. Elona would like be half behind a bush or something. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> mm -hmm. Re Rebob just looks confused. I think Rebob would walk forward first, honestly. Walk forward? To like... Right. No. Yeah, Rebob walks up to uh, Angel and uh, the guy and I uh, says, oh, Drunk too much coffee, did you? Uh, sit down, have a drink. And Rebob looks at Angel like, what's going on? <laughs> oh, is that what Always Thirsty said? I was yeah. confused. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> Angel, you know, shrugs at him like, I don't know. <laughs> then he, um, oh, I don't know. Like, this is really hard. <laughs> Um, always first, he, like, fills up the bucket with water and then offers it to you, Angel, and says, Want to have a drink? Angel shakes his head. Yeah. And then he... <laughs> tries to mimic a wolf, I guess. Oh, God. This is painful. 
Give me a flashy, I guess. <laughs> It's a five. Ooh. Hmm, okay. Um, I don't know, like, how theatrical you want to go for it. Like, if Ayo <laughs> drops on all fours or just, like, makes uh-huh. hand gestures that, like, look like a wolf howling or whatever. But always first he says, um, oh, a wolf. A, a big one at that. All right. Um, oh, are, are you are you a lot after it? Uh, yeah, I will not be good, baby. Yeah, that went well. Mm. Maybe put something in its water? Shrugs. Like a poison mm-hmm. or something? Um, We did want to poison it. Or yeah. Like... Now that it's... I think about it, why did they think that always thirst could help? I don't know. But... Uh... <laughs> Above board, like, I, I, above board, I, the DM, sort of interpreted that as, like, Angyo's excuse, not show and tell's actual thing, if that makes yeah. sense. I was just, like, thinking, okay, yeah, he needs to help with the dragon so he can help us with anything or something. But now I remember that he was just supposed to drink water or something, right? Yeah. That's how he helped. True. Um, specifically against the dragon. Although he is meant to be a companion of Prince Charming and all the companions like find a way or another to be helpful uh, during Prince Charming's adventures. But he was useless when it came to Bastila's killing, I remember. Um, Angya was not Prince Charming at the time. No one was Prince Charming then, yeah. No, I meant like um, uh, Always Thirsty. He didn't do anything. Yeah, Yeah, exactly, but he didn't feel obliged to. Oh yeah, yeah. That's a good way of putting it, I guess. I, I, yeah, I don't know. Um, anyway, so... Uh, are Munin and Ilona, like, listening? Or are they too far away? I think Ilona's too far away. Um, I think Munin would probably be with Ilona, so... Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> I feel sorry for Angel a little. <laughs> um, <laughs> always first he will say, I'm guessing your friend doesn't really speak much looking at Rebob. Like he's asking Angel if Rebob speaks, basically. Rebob, oh, stays, si- Rebob stays silent. Um, and always first he shrugs and says, Well, sit, sit down. Sit down, Prince. Drink is the universal, um, in universal language, as they say. Why did I just say that? Anyway, sit down. Yeah, okay, yeah, I was confused. You didn't say Prince? Um, everything that I said, always first he said. Like, including, like he said, oh yeah, sit down, Prince. And then he... Oh, like, why did I say that he said? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Uh-huh. So he knows, like, subconsciously. Or something. <laughs> Uh, uh, Anga kind of startles a prince. He also looks like confused, like, why did I say that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I guess he scratches the back of his neck, kind of. Uh, and then he, he kind of, I don't know, kind of signs that he, they would. That, okay, well, we already went over this. Um, not sure. <clears throat> um, like I don't know because the poison, the poison uh, option, because of Acacius, it's kind of not available to us, right? I mean, there are other types of poisons than divine intervention, but sure. <laughs> Maybe we can tell the witch to poison the water for the wolf or something. I don't know. I think the witch did offer to, uh, did offer poison, but we just like brushed over that. Yeah, possibly. Okay, so I guess so. I guess Angel doesn't really. I mean, I don't know what what now. I don't know. Angel is lost for words. I mean, not that he had that many to begin with, but like <laughs> always, firstly, like. Uh looks at Angel like 
narrows his eyes and like looks at Angel's face. What's like Angel's expression? Uh, kind of. Uh, I feel like he's trying to avoid. Like he's trying to kind of look. You know. <laughs> hmm? You know, not lock eyes with him, basically. Hmm. Uh, it kind of looks um like he's really trying hard to avoid something. I don't know. But at the same time, uh, he kind of knows he has to. Well, I don't know if he has to, but uh, I mean, obviously, he went up to always thirsty, so he's kind of dealing with it. <laughs> that like awkwardness when like you're in class, you raise your hand to answer, you realize you don't know the answer. You cut off. What did you say at the end? That like awkwardness when like you're in class, you raise your hand to answer a question, and you don't know the answer. <laughs> Kind of, yes. <laughs> Always first he will continue staring at you, but then after a bit he'll like shake his head and say, Sorry, I think... I mm, think I've got the wrong idea about something. Well, if you ever need a drink, you know where to find me. <laughs> okay, I guess we'll leave it at that. I guess just kind of uh, nods at him, kind of... <laughs> I guess let's have like a breath of relief, kind of, and he <laughs> walks away. I don't know. <laughs> Rebob would follow. Um, you would actually you'd hear, yeah, I'd probably hear always thirsty, like mother. No, that can't be, can it? Nah, never mind. <laughs> Look, at least I f I feel like Angel feels like okay. I made, like I tried. Now I always thirsty to get to whatever he wants. <laughs> You know, <laughs> like he feels like he made an effort, <laughs> and a, that's it. A minimum one, but sure. <laughs> it was a struggle, mm. but okay. Um, since we are uh, kind of approaching time, what I was thinking for to like cap the session off was, um, you guys like rejoin each other, maybe talk a little bit about what just happened. Then maybe you go inside and briefly meet the cousin and we like cliffhanger it there, I guess. What do you all think? Okay. Or should we end it where we are at? Depends on you guys. I'm good with ending it now as well. Yeah. Yeah, I think I am too. With ending it now? Okay, without the talking and going to the cousin, I guess. Um... I, well, I don't mind either way. Like, um, yeah. It's your guys' decision. <laughs> not I don't mind. Those. <laughs> but I won't now. It's still a cliffhanger. <clears throat> yeah. And I feel like rushed to, to introduce herself so quickly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Duly noted. Uh, so, uh, Angel goes to rejoin the group. I don't know, I guess Ilona and Moonen come out from the bush they were hiding in or something. <laughs> and Rebob gives you like, all like a WTF look. Um, and <laughs> I suppose that's where we end the episode for now. Yeah, yeah. sounds good. Mm -hmm. Thoughts on today's session? Uh, it was interesting. Yeah. Like I did. A... Oh, sorry. No, you go, go ahead. <laughs> you go. I interrupted you. <laughs> I was just gonna say that I didn't. Yeah, I really had no clue what we were gonna do, and then the witch thing. You know, I didn't expect that. I guess. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, oh. I think that's. Yeah, that's. I I'm uh, I think I agree. Like we um I wasn't sure where we were going with this to begin with either. Um, but it was pretty cool that we got to speak to a witch. Um, and... You're now in debt to her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. About that. <laughs> like, when it was so eager to just, like, promise I don't even know what. <laughs> yeah, we'll think about that when we, like, <laughs> do you know what I mean? We'll think about that later. <laughs> okay. I was immediately thinking, like... I don't even know what I was thinking. Um... Like, M Moonin was probably thinking, like, well, you can't have my firstborn because I'm not having kids. 
<laughs> so, but I don't, I don't know what Moonin's going to give her. Yeah, I, don't I know. yeah, I I was also a little bit surprised that Moonin slash Delhi were so nonchalant with indebting themselves to the witch. <laughs> she will come yeah. to collect, you know. Yeah, like I, I was Moonin... wondering hmm? if you had something in mind, you know, because I was like, okay, I'm not sure what's going on. Like, I'm not sure what we're promising here, but okay. <laughs> I think. Moonin is probably underestimating what they're signing up for. Um, yeah, probably. And I think part of that is because, like, part of that is because, oh, well, we have these, like, ancient coins that are worth, like, so much money. I can probably buy something for her. Um, and then okay. the, the other thing is, is, like, oh, well, Moonin just wants to get rid of this hangover. <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, it was good. Like we did see that she actually that her powers work, and know? that's true. Yeah, we actually, yeah, that's true. Like that was um, that was a good uh, thing to ask for. Yeah, because worst case scenario, um, we th we drink the drinks, we throw up, they don't work. Her powers aren't real, so I'm not in debt to her, basically, right? But because they, um, or that, that maybe that's a immediate, immediate, a middle ground case scenario, and obviously worst case scenario is um, she does have powers because she does have powers, but I can't find a way to pay her back. Um, so, yeah. Or it kills us. That could also happen. Whatever. That could also happen. <laughs> that would be a funny end to Moonin's story because <laughs> I feel like Moonin would try to pay the debt by themselves as much as possible you have accrued quite a bit of it yeah yeah um well let's hope we can deal with that <laughs> um if i <laughs> i don't know uh try to think outside the box given that she's not interested in she's not directly if that makes sense if you intend to repay the debt, I, the debt, I guess. Like, what are you gonna say? Cut you off. Can you all hear me That's now? No can you all hear me now? Yeah, we can hear yeah. you. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> interesting. Interesting. Me Discord as usual. So, um, yeah, as I, I was saying, try to think outside the box if you ever intend to repay her. Yes. I should Definitely. hope so. I don't think we want her in our bad side too yeah i'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to give it a think i mean um, you've, you've got you've gotten a rebob involved in this you gave out his name <laughs> <laughs> and oh, we need oh, to yeah. give a gift on his behalf <laughs> pretty much but it's just like the 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 like welcome gift anyway. that what? what it's just a welcome gift for him it's not too bad oh, you don't right, have to right. like yeah say his firstborn or anything <laughs> I was I was wondering could so let's say we gave fake names would the spell have worked on us if we gave yeah, her a fake not. name I think it's right? actually good that we knew the names by spell I also um I also mean the hangover cure Yeah that's what I mean Yeah as for the wolf I don't know let's hope that it helps I can't really answer your question Okay yeah because I assume I'm just wondering. Obviously, I'm not like trying to grill it out of you, but my thought process is like, oh, if we didn't give her our names, she wouldn't be able to cur curse us or hex us. But then I'm just thinking like, oh well, but then the um, yeah. the hangover cure wouldn't work. Like, she works both ways, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. Well, um, it's a hypothesis. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. It seems like yeah. Who knows? Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think. So, this session, um, you once again met your old lady best friend, I guess? Yeah! It was nice seeing your face again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, then you went to talk to the witch and indebted yourselves to her, and then you had a chat with Rebob 
revealing that he suspects quite a lot of things about you guys. Yeah. Specifically, I guess, about Ilona, but yeah. Um, and you also met with Always Thirsty. Uh, do, like, I don't want to, like, monologue, uh, so do let me know if you guys have any thoughts about these events. Um, it was, uh, it was fun, um, to play through, but, um, yeah, we've got a lot of, we've got a lot on our plate, um, at the moment, I think, which is nothing new, but, Definitely. like, like, everything's happening at once, like, yeah, <laughs> I also think, I don't know if this is true or not, but this feels like the longest prep to kill a boss that we've ever done. <laughs> That's very true. Yeah. yeah. Like, which isn't, like, a bad thing, mm -hmm. but I feel like we weren't as careful, like, with the, um, uh, Basilisk, for example. Yeah. It, it was a pretty different scale, to be fair. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, also, we faced this wolf already. We already know that he's really scary. I that's like true. That, that's why. Yeah, I think we've already been intimidated. Um, exactly. <laughs> um, but yeah. It's in interesting. Like, I'm not trying to dissuade you guys, uh, but it's interesting that you guys decided to get involved and get rid of the wolf instead of going on your way. I mean, I know I know I like the voice in Angio's mind nudged him to help, but mm -hmm. Moon and Anilona also made their choice to help. Yeah. That's true. We can't leave Angel behind. <laughs> <laughs> Was it because of Angel? I don't even uh, remember how we decided to do this. Yeah, I'm not even sure, to be honest. <laughs> I, I think the boy I was kind of like, didn't he like maybe threaten us? That, I mean, yeah. That he no, did, uh, actually. I, mean, I think he did threaten you guys, but you guys were intending to do that even before that. Right. If anything, we use the the um, oh, we're gonna deal with the wolf as like as a bargaining chip against him. If that makes sense, yeah, like, that, yeah, something like that. Not for him, anyway. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Well, either way, we will see how that goes. Um, I suppose. Are there any other thoughts for our viewers before we go into our usual shoutouts? Eat your vegetables. Stay humble. <laughs> <laughs> Do right. your homework. All right, mom, vegetable <laughs> lady. Apparently, you're supposed to go first. So, <laughs> do let do let <laughs> us and the viewers know what you are up to, please, Ashen. Yes. Hello, I'm mom, vegetable lady, and I have an Instagram. <laughs> right. <laughs> Uh, paint and do some art stuff. I won't tell you to eat your veggies there, so if you want me to stop, go there. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'm available for commission as well. If you have like a D and D portrait, if you play yourself, you do this kind of shit. That's me. Mm -hmm. Do check Ashen out, and thank you very, very much. Next, uh, apparently, uh, according to the dice that I rolled, we should ask Show and Tell what she's up to, and what she is doing. Could you please go ahead, Show and Tell? Uh, yes, I'm Show and Tell, and I have a Patreon. You do? Um, yeah. <laughs> I make reactions on there, so if you're interested, you can check it out. Uh, I'm thinking about returning to YouTube, probably in a new channel at some point, but I still need to figure out what I'm going to do about that, so... Stay tuned. I, I don't know. Uh, do stay tuned for that. But in the meanwhile, uh, dear viewers, she is incredibly active on Patreon, scarily so. Uh, I would never <laughs> be able to keep up with that schedule. So good job on you for that show and so. Uh, thanks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I am overworking myself, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> Take care. Um, thank you very much again. Next. According to the dice, we would have Delhi. Could you please go ahead and talk about yourself and what you're doing? 
Yeah, of course. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm Deli. Um, I am a Goblin VTuber on Twitch. Uh, currently, um, I don't have a strong schedule at this point, but I think in the near future, um, I'll be back to regular streaming. So if you would like to see that, feel free to um, stop by and say hello. I have a Twitter as well, which I will eventually get back to um, being active on. <laughs> uh, you know, you know how it is. Um, and yeah, so t for example, today I um, uh, stream Sky Skyrim uh, Anniversary Edition, um, and it was a surprise stream. But that's the sort of thing that I stream is like games like Skyrim and and um, all that sort of stuff. So yeah, uh, today, dear viewers, being the fifteenth for context. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true, actually. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, unlike what Deli said last time, they've been quite a busy bee. Uh, and they've had at least two streams since the last episode that you all have seen. Uh, so yeah, do check that out. Thank you very, very much, Deli. And uh, I was your Dungeon Master, Game Master, Tyonor. I do this series. It's a lot of fun. I also do another series, uh, airs on Saturdays. We're in our third season already. Um... Call, do check that out, set in the Warcraft universe. Different group of people, but still lots of fun. Other than that, thank you very once again, dear viewers, for watching and listening to us. Uh, we'll see you all next time. As usual, I'll keep you all posted on Twitter if like uh, our schedule changes or whatever else may happen. But we will see you regardless. Um, yeah. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. Goodbye.